Okay, so I'm back, and I found the missile that goes into the gun. Right, back to this guy. He's nearly complete now. All I need to do is add the gun and the cape. Now this is a little beyond his head. You can see the little slot there. And there's a bit of bendy plastic on the top of the cape. All you do is just slide the bendy plastic piece into the cape and fold it over the back shell. And there you see he has a cape. A real fabric behind, yeah, I and mean, it does conceal some of the back, the back shell a bit. And then you add the lightsaber. Now, this is the lightsaber in itself is more detailed than your average SWTF lightsaber. It's a lot bigger for a start, and then. You've got the crystal shards that come up and the detail on the handle is really nice as well. I mean this actually I bought this brand new from Amazon.co.uk cost me £40 in total and it is well worth the price. Now then, lightsaber. in hand and it lights up, don't even see where it's glowing there you are sound effect in the arms of the button there as well and press it now, mini pilot figures stormtrooper in there I'm not going to get these out because they're nail hooks as well Got another Vader in there. Dark, but I think you can just see it. And Stormtrooper in each of his shins. So you get quite a few pilot figures with it. There's a lot of accessories with this. You've got the Minicon TIE Fighters, you've got the lightsaber, the gun that fires, um, the cape, the mini pilots. This, I can't recommend enough. It's one of those that sits with the Millennium Falcon in terms of quality, where they really have done a good job. Posability, I'll go into posability because this is part two, I've got plenty of time. Nice clicks. It is posable at the waist, I think you could do a 360. Bends at the knees. Not very good backwards, I'm afraid but you can still get some good poses out of this figure considering how big he is um, arms and wrists and the head also turned that much oh and you have more sound effects push the silver button here I find your lack of faith disturbing lack of faith you get the fire when ready and the beep 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 from the um Station mode, so that's three. Join me on the dark side. Join me, that's four. The rebels must not escape. Rebels can't escape. Five. And then get out. The circle is now complete. Circle complete. So what are we up to? Six now. The force is strong with you. Force is strong. I think I'd add that up with that. I find your lack of faith. So you got about seven phrases all together. About five on this and two on the other one. Uh, what can I say about this guy? I love it. This was a holy grail eyes one. Um for me. If you can't find it in the shops, I suggest looking on eBay because on Amazon it went up to like 
60 pound and it cost me 40 so it's obviously sought after and they're thinking yeah we'll be twats and put the price up like I said in my last in my Falcon review that was 80 quid on Amazon last time I saw it I think that's gone down a bit but what happened to recommended retail prices yeah eBay there's a you can get a few of these on eBay if you look hard enough sometimes you have to just put in Star Wars or Transformers and it'll show up anywhere you've got different keywords you get your different things so I'm going to do a size comparison now Okay. so we have the Darth Vader TIE Fighter no Death Star sorry and a leader class Optimus Prime now if we stand them next to each other I think right leader class prime comes up to um, Vader's shoulder whether that's up or down it doesn't really matter which means Vader is either an oversized leader class or a supreme class I'm led to believe he is a supreme class until you stand him next to Unicron see I've got all Vader in the screen I ain't got much of Unicron um, let's see if I can go back a bit the feet them together comes up to about Unicron bottom of his chest is Albert. Now I have heard stuff that rumours, well people have said that Unicron is an oversized Supreme. Unicron is like just a big toy oversized like a Fort Max or something like that. So maybe Vader is a Supreme or maybe he's an oversized leader. Either way, lead to a debate, interesting discussion. But I probably just covered it all there. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm on seven and a half minutes now, running out of time again. So yeah, this guy's the bollocks. Simply, it simple as. He is awesome, and I would highly recommend him. That's why I left him till the end. This is Desiree's prime out. Taking a break from reviewing for a bit. Got other things to work on. I really don't know which reviews to do next. I've got, if you see my collection, I've got live action movie, I've got universe, I've got pre universe classics, I've got my Marvels. I could do a couple of small series on my classics and Marvels. I don't know if anyone has any preference, what they'd like me to review, or if there's just a particular toy you want me to review. Please let me know.